Since the first year of commercial planting of biotech crops in 1996, around 60 countries have either planted or imported such crops. Why is it important for people to understand what biotechnology is? I think it is very important for people to understand what biotechnology is because when you understand the technology, then it will be able to find its place in the food production uh, uh, chain and will be able to use it as one of the tools that are available to help us uh, increase uh, food production. There is a scientific consensus internationally now that the process of genetic modification at a molecular level does not introduce any extra risk as compared to conventional breeding. To have a blanket approach and to say that all GM is somehow potentially unsafe makes no sense at all, any more than to say all GM is always going to be safe. So again, you know, the only scientific and empirically valid way to look at this is to look at each case uh, on its own merits. Despite rapid growth of adoption and their documented benefits, controversies about the technology persist. However, a 2014 study by economists Willem Klumper and Martin Keim found that major biotech crops, including soybean, maize, and cotton, have reduced chemical pesticide use and increased crop yields and farmer profits. Biotech can be very useful. We have BT cotton. Cotton is very important in Egypt. If we use this plant, the, the profit will be very high because we spend a lot of money in pesticides. It is safe. It's not. There is no difference between biotech crops and product uh, produced from breeding. A separate study in 2016 by the United States National Academies of Sciences, Engineering, and Medicine reports that biotech crops are safe to eat and do not pose any harmful effects to the environment. Biotechnology is safe, and uh, it is a tool that uh, application that is really needed. To, uh, for agriculture and uh, that it will help elevate poverty, food security, um, help in sustainable development. I think the issue of safety is, is really important so that, that we should always assure people, uh, definitely as scientists, that, that there is no safety issue. Uh, it's a technology which exists in medicine, pharmacy or the pharmaceutical products, they are already there. Um, that the technology is um, applied in a variety of situations, in environment, in our food systems and so on. So for me, the technology is here to stay. Um, it has been there for over 50 years now. Biotechnology has got some positive uh, impacts to our lives. Uh, if maybe 78% of the world cotton is GM, it means there are 78 percent chances that we are putting on GM clothes. Scientists have improved and developed crops with various traits to help them resist pests and withstand environmental stresses. Crop research and development has already produced a maize crop with resistance to two types of herbicides and six types of insect species. We look at the products, um, look at the fact that uh, growing insect-resistant maize in a country such as the Philippines not only has benefits for farmers but also for consumers because the, um, the resulting yield, the corn cobs, the, the maize cobs are much more nutritious and much less infested by fungal diseases such as aflatoxins. So there's substantial dif uh, benefits to families and children as well who are often affected by poor quality Corn. Since 2012, developing countries planted more biotech crops than industrial countries. 20 developing countries from Asia, Africa, and Latin America produced more than half of the global hectare of biotech crops. And in 10 years now, we are the second largest area producing uh, GM, uh, besides crops that are soybean, uh, cotton, and corn. We also have vaccines, we have a transgenic mosquito against dengue, dengue fever, and uh, we also recently approved the GM tree in the country, it's eucalyptus. Uh, other part could be the way we are trading these products with different countries around the world, and uh, we get benefit from this. We even approved the, the common beans, and it is a public sector, and it was approved three years ago in the country. 
while 18 million farmers from 28 countries around the world experienced the significant benefits of planting biotech crops, more farmers from developing countries await their chance at being able to plant these crops. The farmers need this technology to address some of the challenges they have right now in relation to climate change and pests and diseases. Policymakers need to appreciate that without this law, they are disadvantaging the farmers, they are disadvantaging the consumers who would benefit from the nutritional enhancement. But also at the same time, without the law, we cannot regulate what comes into the country. People should adopt biotechnology and look at the impact, the good impact that it will bring to the country. To people who say it's not safe, I ask them, what is the scientific basis that you are saying is not safe? Biotechnology will bring about food security, bring enough food to feed the extra people.